I guess just what's the excitement level for it sure to be an excellent atmosphere tomorrow night, a huge opponent. Just how excited are you for it? Uh, we're very excited. We know coming into this game, it's like a pretty impactful game. They're coming in ranked, so we want to put on a great performance for the crowd. Have you heard a lot from the students, the kids, anybody around town coming into this game? Uh, yes. Today, me, Talon, and Steven, uh, before we had class, went out and gave all flyers. So a lot of the students that was here and like the uh, people that work in the cafeterias and everything can't, was coming up to us talking about something. We're ready to see y'all watch out, go and play. You've worked two new starters and starting line up over the last three games. What have you seen from Colin and Zach stepping into those new roles? Uh, we've seen that their, that their moment that their name is called, that they're ready to step up. We have a lot of depth in the uh, on this team, so it just shows the work that they put in to be able to be ready. What does it do for your confidence when you go out there in that Arkansas game and knock down those three three-pointers in pretty quick succession? Oh, it gave me a, a lot of confidence. I was struggling a little bit the last couple of games shooting the ball, so to be able to see those three threes go in straight like that was a huge confidence boost for me. What about your history with Big Blue? What's your previous style? Oh, um, man. For them, I know that it's a, it was a big deal for beating them in the uh, tournament and everything. So I just hope that I can continue that tradition for them. When you played them for the first time, what was it like going on the court? I mean, did, you, did you take a moment and say, okay, we're playing this? Um, I, I did not play them, but my, school, uh, my graduate school at Wofford did. Yeah, okay. So I know like now it's going to be like a big deal for me coming in from Wofford, and they already know that history, so they're going to be expecting the same thing. Uh, Lamont, I don't know if you kept track of it, but his black quarter zips have like record in analytics on like what they're good at and stuff. He's got three different ones. Do y'all lobby him at all on what one he should be wearing for tomorrow's blackout game? Or? No, we just seen a uh, little meme about it uh, after the Arkansas game. So hopefully he chooses the right one to keep us <laughs> keep us undefeated. Is there something different about this Kentucky team that maybe you watched on TV last year that you're seeing that they're doing in person, breaking down film this year? Oh, uh, just they're pushing the ball a lot faster than what they did last year. Um, they're more oriented of just getting the ball out quick and trying to score uh, at a fast pace. Kind of good. all. It's kind of early, but do you, do you look at where you guys, and the fact you guys are getting a little bit of, little bit of Um, We don't really try to pay attention to all that. We just try to focus on what we have ahead of us and just taking it game by game. Kind of going off Dave's question earlier about the, uh, the student response and everything. How do you feel like the energy has kind of shifted in um, you know, student and fan response since you know game one till now? Uh, we feel like it's a huge boost for us that they're coming in and we see a packed crowd. That just makes us even want to play harder because we want to keep that going and for the traditional uh, South Carolina. You guys obviously pride yourselves on defense, but when you're going against a team like Kentucky, is there an element that you know you're probably going to have to put up some points to walk out with a win against the Wildcats? Uh, yes. Uh, right now they're probably scoring at the – fastest pace in the SEC right now between them and Bama. So we just feel like coming into this game, that defense is going to be a very uh, priority for us.